You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good day, sir. What Holy do we have? Holy cow, good day to you, too. And hey, by the way, and we forgot to mention this yesterday, uh, congrats on uh, your big tournament win. Oh, yeah. The other day, uh, <laughs> we are <clears throat> sitting with uh, golf royalty here. <laughs> we are, and we're going to have to make extra space in the old trophy case. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Heidi and her band of banshee golf terrorists take a tournament down in beautiful Alta, Iowa. Yeah, yeah. So what, you guys got uh, first place? In the third flight. So basically we mean? were the first losers. <laughs> oh. But I, I think that's pretty neat. <laughs> you get trophy for that? Yeah. We nobody, got money for that. Did you really? We no, did. Nobody cares about the second losers. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> First losers are all that matter. Yeah. So nice job. So I've been Thank telling you. people, I said that you won the golf tournament, so I was wrong. We won the loser category. Well, that, does that count? We were the best of the worst. Okay. Well, for everybody I talked to <laughs> yesterday, and I misinformed you, I This apologize. is how tournaments work. I used to golf a lot of tournaments because I had to, just by nature of what I did for a living. Yeah. Didn't necessarily love golf, but you get it done. So I'm hitting the tournament, and it was in Iowa, by, as a matter of fact, with, with the friend Larry Rohr, who, works for, for golf who works for public television here in oh, South yeah. Dakota. Yeah. Me and Larry are hitting, and there's no way we're going to win this thing. So I said, look, I don't enjoy being third or ninth or 17th. We know we're not winning because I'm horrible. I want dead last. Mm-hmm. Which, which we did every we year. we did perfectly. Because there was a prize for the there worst. There was a prize for the oh, worst. Oh, yeah. As well oh, yeah. This one. Oh, wow. But we did not qualify for worst score. Why? We just didn't. We didn't have the worst score. We had... They just weren't thinking. We had the best of the third group of golfers. Well, you try Which is fantastic. Time, Heidi. <laughs> we, we golfed par. We, we played the whole course right at par. Wow. Yeah. John has questions. He has no idea what he's talking about, but he has questions. <laughs> We'll, we'll discuss this off the air. Ginger Rogers was born this day. Oh, very nice. Or in Fred Astaire. Ripped it up for years in Hollywood. Yeah. Fantastic talent, Ginger Rogers. Uh, Jimmy Johnson. Love him, hate him. He coached the Cowboys oh, okay. to oh, okay. back-to-back Super Bowls. And then went on to coach the Dolphins to, uh, well, <laughs> not exactly stellar Jimmy 77 today. Orville Redenbacher. Aww. The very first ever radio and agronomist. Yep, absolutely. Orville Redenbacher, the popcorn magnet, of course, kind of kind of turned that industry upside down. And also, uh, upon his death back in September of 1995, the loudest, loudest cremation in history. <laughs> <laughs> was 1439, speaking of pandemics and whatnot, 1939 by Order of the King, kissing is banned in England. Oh, oh my. To stop the spread of the Black Death. Oh. Okay. Are they going to ban kissing in America, do you think? I don't know. I don't know if they are not, but what a cool name. It's the Black Death. Well, okay, you have my attention. Now yeah. we run around. Oh, it's COVID-19. It sounds right. like a cough syrup. I know. I bet it does. I mean, who cares? It sounds like you cured us something. Man, let's get a little sexier here. 2004, Martha Stewart. Cuffed, stuffed, sentenced yeah, to five was. months in the Gray Bar Motel, plus five months in home confinement for lying to federal investigators. When all of that stuff was going on, her spokesperson's name was John Small, spelled the same as me. And I had people who seriously thought that that was me. I'm like, what? how would I be the spokesperson for Martha Stewart? I just, I just remember being completely shocked when she actually got... I, I, mean, I thought for sure she wouldn't get any jail time. I thought for sure... Because she was a celebrity and because of what had well, happened I, not too far before that with well, OJ. On, on Becky's going to prison. I yeah, know, but I, well, I mean, up until all that stuff, weird. it seemed like celebrities now just she has, got away with everything. She has street cred now. Yeah. So, you know, you got that. Yeah, she's hanging out with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, she <laughs> way, way to lower the bar, Martha. <laughs> oh, boy. 2005, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the sixth book in wow. the series by J.K. Rowling is published. Sells 9 million copies in 24 hours. Yeah, I still haven't had a chance to read any of those. Holy moly. Both Maybe of my kids weekend. went through that whole series. And I just, I, I've i never watched it's one of the films. I've never. A uh, couple of the movies with Taylor, but it I wasn't, couldn't get into it. Yeah, we just, you yeah, know. And for extra points around, uh, you know, the old office here this morning, J.K. Rowling. Yeah. J.K. Joanne Kathleen. Oh, nice. Is her name. Okay. Joanne Kathleen Rowling. So That's awesome. There you go. And I don't just do history. Let's look ahead. Mark your calendars. Okay. 
Uh, I believe my math is correct, and it always is. There are only 353 days left till the next sunny and Fox 7 Fourth of July Sioux Falls fireworks <laughs> show. Boom! 353 days. I so love it. Either. See? It's Good already job. already in the planning stage. I love it. So there yeah. you go. Now it you know. John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris brought to you, in this case, by SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Do you pay too much for insurance? Have you looked around? Or are you too chicken? Don't be afraid to look around to see if you can find a better deal at InsuranceChicken.com. We make it super simple for you to see rates from several different companies, to see what they have to offer, all in one place. Heck out great insurance deals at InsuranceChicken.com. Is it time for you to cross the road? See if we can save you money each month at insurancechicken.com that's insurancechicken.com time now for ranger dan's critter corner well i'm rough tough and ready i'm a heck of a man eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan he's ranger dan he's here i'm ranger dan well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks run over possums in my government truck he's ranger dan he's here I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals, too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Well, how are you doing? <laughs> you crazy little, little smalls, you. Good to see you, Joel. Heidi! <laughs> Ranger Dan. Heidi, I think, oh my, not to alarm you, but I think there's there's something wrong with my eyes. I, oh, no. I can't seem to take them off yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's a problem I can live with. <laughs> well, I'm a, uh, I'm kidding. I'm a kidder. You know I me. Mean? What the heck? Oh. Hey, little Radio Rangers. Let's serious up here. We've been on a roll lately. We've been working our way through the ding-dang alphabet. A to Z, as it were, and if I'm not mistaken, we're on the letter R. Mm, nice. I like the letter R because letter R is used with a lot of critters to like when they get vocal. They use R and grr. Say it with me. Grr. That's G. Infinity. You know, rabbits start with R. Yes, yeah, they, they do. do. Yeah, No kidding there. How about raccoons? They do. Oh, yeah. We like to refer to them here on Critter Corner, trash pandas. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what else starts with our roadrunners? Start with our folks. Famous Roadrunner, of course, always being hounded by that darn coyote in them cartoons. Is smart yeah. little, smart little devils and fast, too, Dosh Garnet. Dosh Garnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ranger Dan has dyslexia. <laughs> Let's start with R. That would be star backwards. Oh, hey, okay, yeah. <laughs> A little nice. something you might want to make note of to dazzle your little buddies with. Rats, by the way, can't vomit, but that's a personal problem. <laughs> this is pretty exotic. Another critter that starts with R, the Rufus tree pea. Oh, the okay. Rufus tree pea. Never heard of this. That happens to be a bird that's a member of the crow family. Okay. Yep, it's a little bit smaller, but it's got multicolored feathers and a much longer tail and a much louder voice than a crow. Really? Huh. Yes, and apparently answers to the name Rufus. <laughs> <laughs> Another wild and woolly R critter, we got the rock hyrax. The rock hyrax, that's H-Y-R-A-X. The rock hyrax, that is a hyrax that lives around rocks. <laughs> I like this one a lot. The rose at the spoonbill. Rose at the spoonbill. That's a bird. It's a large-billed pink bird. Okay. Hence, hence the, the rose in, okay. in, in the name. The rose hmm. spoonbill, closely related to the rose at fork bill and knife bill. <laughs> and it's far rarer hybrid cousin, the rose at spork bill. Yeah. <laughs> Love those. And I went around the block. Get get next door on that one. Let's, <laughs> reindeer starts with R. Gosh darn it, yes, they do. Did you know all Santa's reindeer are female? Really? I didn't know that. You can I tell because here's that. the thing, little known fact. Male reindeer, they, they don't have the antlers. Females got the antlers. Oh. In the wintertime, the males will shed their antlers, and during the winter months, actually don't have them. So okay. when you see Santa's sleigh and those reindeers, those are all female reindeers. Oh, my goodness. Which I think is, is fascinating. It's also why you never see Santa trying to parallel park. <laughs> oh. Which brings us to. But it's also <laughs> why Santa never gets lost. <laughs> oh, she did there, eh? Bailed you out, Ranger Dan. We're going to round things out with the red panda. A cute little bugger, red pandas, which after decades of protests from some minority 
groups and various social justice organizations because Rad it's uh, now considering changing its name. And that's all the time we have today, <laughs> little Radio Rangers. Remember, if you're not part of the new woke, you should thank your folks. This is Ranger Ben. Oh. <laughs> Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. Some credit cards have really high rates or big annual fees. Usually, people sign up for these when it's all they qualify for. If that sounds like you, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation changes, and you may qualify for a better credit card. Your current card hopes you don't think about it, but our site shows you many options to see if there's a better credit card for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. And it's time right now for Water Cooler Talk with Mr. Dan Ferris. Dateline, Sioux Falls, my source, Associated Press. This is a big deal, and there's different things happening around the country depending. Uh, Sioux Falls schools are in the process of finalizing plans for returning students to the classrooms. That's coming up pretty quick. That's next month. Wow. Modifications to prevent, of course, contracting the Rona. Sioux Falls School Board is to consider uh, various plans, different options. They met Monday night, and now they're working out the deets. That's hmm. that's hmm. cred for details. details. Oh, that's that how the kids very talk. Impressive. Yeah, when I'm just lurching around the food cart at the mall, I hear those, <laughs> I hear those kids saying that. I just wear my slippers in a bathrobe. Nobody seems to care. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what? what? Huh. But what's happening just around the state? I just uh, read another story. Mitchell has decided for their public schools, everybody's going to mask up. Oh, okay. Mitchell, oh, wow. when they fire up. So that's how they're doing it. That is how they are doing it. And uh, plans in town here, I don't think that's going to be a mandate. Uh, but there will be maybe even rotating days for being in class as opposed to online classes. Okay. So, again, they're okay. <clears throat> what's best to me. I mean, what would you do? I mean, I, you know, can I put myself in that situation? If my kids were still school age, what would I do? Because some parents are going, nah, I'm still not letting them back. They're going to do it online or I've made other arrangements. But you listen to kids, and I've seen a lot of school kids now interviewed, and they're going, yeah, we need to go back. I'm losing my little kid mind. Yeah. You know, they've been, yeah. they want to see their friends. They want to get back. that interaction going. Uh, athletics and everything yep. else. So, you know, and listening to the experts, uh, different doctors, went, and they're going, you know, at that age, Nah, no, we're good. I mean, yeah. we should yeah. yeah. got to get the schools going. You just have to. Or, for instance, when I was growing up, and I'm old enough, uh, we just we had to follow a smart person around. We didn't even go to school. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the luck of the draw. <laughs> nice. I, I followed my great uncle Carl around. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He always smelled like medicine. Huh. <laughs> well, he knew, he knew a lot of stuff, though, apparently. He did. Uh, yeah, so what's going to happen here in Sioux Falls? My guess is when it's go time, show time, the bus is going to be running and it's going to be what it's going to be. So um, there you go. Let's let's yeah, rock and roll. It's time to go Let's back. School, man. We got to blow this country wide back open because we, we we keep waiting, man. It's well, going to fall and fall hard. Yeah. So. Coming your way here in just a short while, we're going to be hearing uh, the market beat minute, and uh, I peeked ahead. Oh, okay. And it's good news. They may have good. a cure. Or a vaccine. Vaccine. Yeah, there we go. That's the thing. I see. That's a states-based company too. They're yeah. going to the third stage on this. It was, now. It was announced yesterday, and I'll, I'll have that with the Market Beat Minute coming your way oh, here cool. in just a little bit. Nice. But, uh, yeah, it's really. It, it helped the stock market yesterday, so that all is looking nice. good. So now, if, if everything uh, if is starting all, to bounce back, that's yeah, wonderful. if it all kind of comes back together, and if if we have that, so everybody is you know. Got all safety nets. So if you do, yep. if you do get infected, there's a, a vaccine. When well, that's I think all of it done, this way, and this may good. be a little off the beaten path, but I look at it this way. And again, getting sick is awful. Dying from something is awful. But there's yeah. stuff out there. Always going to be. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. face another pandemic. They yeah. come around every couple of years, man. But this one, we just reacted out of I blind over, terror and fear. I think and a, so too. Yeah. No, but <clears throat> okay. There is no vaccine for it. There is. You get a flu shot every year. You know what? It a lot of people doesn't. who get your flu shot still get sick. You just, yep, that's just you it. Know. But I look at it this way because as you know and I know because I've seen it on late night TV commercials. Okay. There is no known cure for herpes. <laughs> okay. And yet people have relationships all the time. <laughs> really? So I have heard. That's not me personally. Okay. Because to me it's safety first. <laughs> and he is single ladies. <laughs> Throw that out there. 
or two. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I think we'll just end this segment right there. <laughs> Dan's going to beat me with his stick. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour Ouch. with Dan Ferris. We're here to make it better. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. We're here to make it better. Get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Coming up here in a moment, we've got a couple of winners from Southeastern Hair Design. But first, going to talk about an upcoming auction that is happening on the 25th. So I'm looking at my calendar right now. That is next Saturday. So sneaking up here before you know it. And uh, you know what? Tell you what. We'll we'll give away the prizes first. Then I'll circle back to this. So you got uh, a couple of names over there for uh, some winners, Dan? Uh, yeah. From Southeast Hair Design, not one but two gift cards valued at $20 a piece. All right. Right? And people register online for this stuff, which is cool. Then we dial it up and go, hey, this person, this person. Lynette Schroeder. Yay. Come on down. And Seth Benson. Boom. Woo. Where, hey, Lynette. Hey, Seth. What station just made you a winner? Hey, <laughs> uh, you bet. Hey, tell your friends. Make sure you tune in. Hey, if you're going outside today, take us with you. <laughs> Put your windows down and your radios up. Man, what was that all about? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> what happened, Seth? Each $20 gift card. Southeast here. Design brand new, loca- uh, brand new location around the corner of 28th and South Minnesota. They got a new sign now, too. Not just a new sign, but what... It uh, looks nice. It looks I really drove good. by it the other the day. The sign is cool. And what I, Eileen yeah. and the crew did with the interior of that little building is just pretty, pretty spectacular. So, And a huge congratulations to our winners. Now, if you want to be a winner, I want to tell you about this auction. Van Beek Auctions is actually who's going to be uh, running the auction, but it's all the stuff from their old location for Southeastern Hair Design, and I'm uh, kind of scrolling through here right now. Let me look and see. So it's going to be an online auction, so you'll be able to bid from wherever you happen to be comfy and cozy, but I'm looking at uh, a lot of different chairs here. Uh, so there's some that are like just office chairs, but there's also like some stools and, and things like that. And then there's actually chairs to sit in, like to get your hair cut, those kind of chairs. And there's even some chairs that have like a, a dryer thing attached to it that goes over your head. So one of those deals looks like a massage table as well. Uh, just some other tables and, and uh, a lot of cool decorating items. And I see like a stereo here as well. So a lot of different things. I'm going to throw a link to this on our Facebook page. Uh, if you're looking for any sort of decor for an office or if you happen to have a salon and you're going, hey, I need some of those chairs, I've got a link to all of this. It's an online auction. It's coming up at the end of this month. It's on the 25th. So again, not this Saturday, but next Saturday is when they're actually holding this. VanBeekAuction.com is the website. And again, I have a link to it on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. And I also want to tell you how you can register to win because we keep giving away prizes here from our friends at, uh, at, at Southeastern Hair Design. But we haven't talked recently about how you can register. So if you would like to sign up to win, you can do that right now. Go to the website, sunnyradio.com. You'll see on the top of the page a little button that says Win Awesome Prizes. Click that, and you can register for prizes from Tire Motive, which we'll give some of those away tomorrow. And you can register to win uh, prizes from our friends at Southeastern Hair Design. We'll see if we can make you a big old winner. Again, that's at sunnyradio.com. Many people have dabbled in the stock market for their very first time ever this year. If you're new to the market, but you don't want to learn things the hard way and the expensive way, I encourage you to subscribe to this free newsletter. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Subscribe for free. If you change your mind, just unsubscribe. Sign up for free right now at marketbeatminute.com. That's marketbeatminute.com. Time right now for entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Here you go, celebrities are fabulous. Even makeup free and wearing a mask, they are stunningly gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, yeah. I want celebrities so bad, I want to melt them down and rub them all over my body. (laughs) 
<laughs> hey, that might have been a little out of line, but... It might have been a little much. There yeah. is a huge auction coming up. Oh, yeah. And I know, John, you especially, sometimes you like to, you know, get your hands on a little trinket or something. You like, yeah. you know, you, you like stuff, you, but but you, you like cool stuff. Looking at all my crap on the well, shelf no, over Every here? now and again, you walk in there and go, hey, I bought this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and me and Heidi will go, Why? <laughs> And you'll explain it, and after you explain it, me and Heidi will go, yeah, but why? <laughs> anyway, there's a huge auction coming up. Okay. Hollywood memorabilia. Ooh. Late August, this is happening. What's Making on it? some of La La Land's most famous props in the history of filmmaking available. We're not talking just odds and ends here, either. We're talking, for instance, the iconic items such as Alfred Hitchcock's camera, Tom Cruise's helmet from Top Gun. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's cool. That is pretty. That would cool. look good right here in the studio. I would wear it around the office. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is this is right in your lane, John. Right in your wheelhouse. I'd get that. Uh, Eleven foot model spaceship from the first Alien movie. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. It's only eleven feet though. Where, what are we gonna do with that? Uh, Eleven. That's that's one? that's pretty big, actually. They don't have anything no, bigger. On Earth, we would put it. <clears throat> They're saying the people putting this together are thinking, and there, there's approximately 850 items that are going to be auctioned off, uh, valued at around 6 to $7 million. In fact, that spaceship, the Nostromo spaceship from the, uh, from the film Alien, they're expecting it to sell somewhere between 300000 and half. I have a prediction. A million dollars. Yeah, I don't think we'll probably be able to buy anything. I have a prediction on who's going to buy this stuff. Who, John? Rich people. Uh, yeah. That's it's going to have to be. It's not going to be us. That's generally. And get back to, uh, you know, the Maverick helmet. Tom Cruise's uh, helmet from uh, Top Gun. Uh, they're weighing that in at between fifty and $70,000. Yeah. Lord. Holy it's a cow. used hat. It's a basic. <laughs> basically, it is a used hat when you think about it. Slightly used hat, fifty grand. What else is going on? And I, this is, this surprised me because this was a, a recent film, wasn't it? Uh, Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh yeah, it was last yeah. year, or maybe two years ago. Yeah, maybe two years ago. Yeah. Uh, the two cars that were featured in that film: Leonardo DiCaprio's yellow Cadillac uh, Coupe de Ville. It's a cool car. And Brad Pitt's Carmen Ghia sports I love that. car. That's Volkswagen, by the way. I owned a '68 red Carmen Ghia. Really? I loved that. Car. I've always loved those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty neat. My, uh, I like you a little more right my now. My kid man. brother sold it out from under me when I. Wow. I, wow. He was something else. Anybody around here brother. with Carmen Gear that I can drive? I anyway, those cars out. are expected to fetch somewhere between just twenty and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, that's not so bad. Let's grab one of those. He's the caddy expected to be in the higher end of uh, of the spectrum. I'm pretty sure we we can't get that either, can we? <laughs> That's insane. Star Wars fans, if you are one, you'll be excited to hear that Darth Vader's iconic suit that was used in the promotion of A New Hope mm. is on the block, as will Obi-Wan Kenobi's dueling lightsaber hilt from the prequel movies. So mm. there's something for just about everybody. Again, I believe that's August 27th, 28th. Dial it up, whatever. Spend some money, get some stuff. Bring your friends, have a cocktail party with perhaps some lighter d'oeuvres. That would be really nice. Twenty seventh, my birthday. Hey, Don't do that for my birthday. For your birthday, we're going to get you Tom Cruise's helmet. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. We should, and then we'll have a spa day. Uh, you know, we were Dan. I what? Think one of these days when when you don't have something more important for entertainment news, and I know you usually have really important things. It's for riveting, I know. But we should talk about cameo because I'm going to try to get uh, <laughs> I get some of these people to record some stuff for us. I was going through the list. Uh, you can get all these famous people to record like uh, a little video for you through this. And by famous, you mean kind Big. of fly, <laughs> flying under the radar for more than a decade now. You've heard yeah. of some of them. But a friend of mine is on here, and he charges $1. <laughs> I think that we need to have John and Heidi and Dan on here, and we'll charge $2. <laughs> Buck 35 I wonder if you can do change. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we'll have to go through and, and uh, talk about the amazingly talented people you can get to record videos for you. Funny stuff. Well, Dan, thank you for your report, sir. Sure thing. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. If you have a credit card, we'd like to help you make sure it's the best credit card for you. Take a few minutes to look at your current interest rate and see what you get for points or perks. Then go to bettercreditcards.com to see if we can help you find a better credit card. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you get a better credit card. If you don't have a credit card right now, you can check us out, too, at BetterCreditCards.com. 
That's BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, July 16th, 2020. Wall Street got some really good news on Tuesday about the virus that could mean the difference between a prolonged bull market and another meltdown. Biotech company Moderna, a leader in the research of COVID-19 vaccines, announced positive news about their vaccine candidate. The company says it was able to produce a robust immune response in 100% of the patients with a small test group. The drug will now move on to another test in hopes of repeating the results. What this means for the markets is a possible end to the pandemic. With a vaccine in hand, assuming it can be mass-produced quickly enough, global economies will no longer have to operate below capacity or fear being shut down again. The news sparked a 1% move in the S&P 500 that set a post-pandemic high, and that is bullish news indeed. You can get the inside track with Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.